If you are interested in joining the biomedical engineering field, but you don't have a direct degree or experience for it, then I'm going to show you how I did it in this video. Today, let's talk about how I become a biomedical engineering grad student without a direct degree or experience. The first tip on how to become a biomedical engineering grad student is that you don't necessarily have to have a direct degree already to apply for the BME grad programs. Before I dive in, I just want to quickly mention what is biomedical engineering so that we'll be on the same page for the following content. And here I want to use this quote by my graduate department, biomedical engineering combines science, engineering, and medicine to solve human health problems and improve quality of life. Biomedical engineers work with doctors to build medical devices that assist in the diagnosis and treatment of patients. And because biomedical engineering is such a multidisciplinary branch of study, so engineers can approach with a background in any of the engineering disciplines or scientists in most of the STEM fields. I would advise you to look through the admission requirements for a specific school that you are thinking about applying. If admitted, some schools will require you to make up for the prerequisite classes in your first year, but in my case, I had a chemistry bachelor's degree and my graduate program has the same coursework for everybody. Oh, and by the way, most of my graduate school colleagues have backgrounds in like math, biochemistry, computer science, mechanical engineering, biology, or statistics. The next step on how to become a biomedical engineer without a background is that you need to have evidence to prove that you are a qualified candidate. And I will share with you how you can prepare for that in three different methods from easy to advanced. The first and the easiest is YouTube. More than just an entertainment center, YouTube has abundant valuable educational resources. This is where I learned from the nitty gritty technical biomedical engineering courses and seminars to vlogs like a day in the life of a biomedical engineer. Please check out this video if you are interested in how my day to day lab life is like. The next method is free online courses and books. I took this frontiers of biomedical engineering online from the beginning to the end offered by Yale Open Course by Professor Mark Saltzman. This course is designed for science and non-science majors and it covers basic concepts of biomedical engineering and their connections with human activity. And you'll see there are so many subdivisions under biomedical engineering such as biomaterials, drug delivery, tissue engineering, medical devices, medical imaging, etc. If you want to choose only one course, then I would highly recommend this one. Otherwise, Coursera also has a few intro to biomedical engineering type course for free as well. Now at this point, you probably have a good grasp of what biomedical engineering is and maybe even a subdivision that you are particularly interested in. Now let's move on to the next tip on how you can prove that you are a qualified candidate. So in my case, on top of good grades, doing a project can be very helpful. My undergrad school actually doesn't have a biomedical engineering department. So I did a project with a professor in the industrial engineering department. So in my personal statement, I show that I was able to learn new subjects quickly, learn how to troubleshoot in a team environment, and how I can apply these skills to future biomedical engineering research. One more pro tip on how to become a biomedical engineer without a degree is to try to reach out to a BME department in your local area for shadowing opportunities. I often see high school or college students shadowing our department masters or PhD students. And sometimes they even got involved in some of the small lab projects. And this way you are really getting your foot in the door. If you find this video helpful, please consider dropping a like so more aspiring students like yourself can find it. In the next video, I plan to share how my two-year grad school timeline looks like. Please stay tuned for that. I'll see you there.